So this thing get dropped down in the water and then this little messenger will pop this shut and grab a deep water sample from whatever depth we choose to, to take that at. And uh, oftentimes you'll find that the water down at the bottom has higher nutrients than the water that's at the top. So that's, that's the main reason for doing this is so that we can, we can look at the water through the whole water column and not just look at what's at the surface because oftentimes it gives you a false idea of how clean the water is. So we're here today. We are doing a treatment for this body of water for cyanobacteria. Cyanobacteria is a type of growth that occurs in a lot of bodies of water. It is often confused with algae. It has a lot of similar looks to algae. It can be green. It can be a film at the surface of the water. It can float up as chunks, which is what it does in this body of water here, and is often confused with algae, but it's actually a type of bacteria. And that type of bacteria can produce toxins that are harmful to humans, pets, uh, wildlife and the fish that live in the pond too. So it's really important if we have cyanobacteria on a body of water that we are taking corrective actions to manage it and get it out of here. The, this is what they call the blank. So this is just this is just the sample. That's just the sample that we pulled out of the water. This is the sample with the phosphorus tablets, phosphorus testing tablets added to it. So yeah. If it if it turns a dark like a bluish purplish color, then we know we have a really bad problem with phosphorus. That's the crazy part about this is the nutrients should be so much higher in this body of water for everything that's going on. But I guess all the stuff we're doing is uh, working. <laughs> well, I'm. I don't I don't know, but with the with the benthic algae like that mm -hmm. on the bottom, mm -hmm. is it just keeping the Keeping the phosphorus on the bottom instead of releasing it. Maybe. Into the this stuff here. Yeah. Um, is is technically algae as well. This is just a macro algae. So this is good stuff. We want this in the pond. And when we do the type of treatment that we did with the with the peroxide, we're able to target treat the type of species that we want to kill without taking out all the good stuff too. If we just had algae growing on this pond, a lot of times algae is just more of a nuisance issue. So we can manage that pretty simply. Cyanobacteria is more of a problem that needs to be addressed immediately to avoid any type of problematic issues with aquatic life or visitors that come to the pond. So in this body of water here, we visited here, we do normal maintenance treatments to this. Um, we noticed that we had some cyanobacteria growth a few weeks ago. This summer, there was a lot of geese on this body of water, and those geese brought a lot of poop in with them. They brought a lot of nutrients into the water, which then caused this cyanobacteria bloom to occur. We knew we needed to treat it quickly because this is a camp for children, and those children use this body of water every single day. So not only the campers, but a lot of the staff have dogs that hang out in this pond as well. We don't want anybody getting sick, so it's extremely important that it's managed. What we did here was a very safe treatment of a peroxide-based product called phycomycin. That treatment, we actually apply to this water twice. We treat the entire pond, come back two days later, and then we treat it again. So we are making sure that all of the growth is dead. It's really difficult to manage cyanobacteria, so hitting it twice ensures a better rate of success. After that, what we're doing today is we are spraying the body of water with a product called Metaflock. And Metaflock is a biological phosphorus binder that helps to remove all of the nutrients from the water. So why do we treat with a phosphorus binder after we've already killed the vegetation that's there? The reason is, is that 
all of the algae cells, all of the cyanobacteria cells that we have just killed release all of the nutrients that it has just taken up over the last few months. So that means there is now a surge of phosphorus and ammonia in that water right now. And what that can do is that can super fuel another bloom to come back in its place. And we don't want that to happen. Exactly. So the Metaflock is sprayed and helps to bind all the nutrients in the water and drop them to the bottom. And the reason we choose this treatment over other phosphorus binders is because it has a longer effect. It's not just going to react immediately and drop everything. It's going to continue to work over time to help to control those phosphorus levels in the water. The other nice thing about this combination treatment, we call it the shock and drop, uh, is very fish safe. The peroxide based treatment isn't going to remove a lot of oxygen out of the water like other treatments may. It's not copper based, which also can have impacts to the fish population. And then obviously the Metaflock treatment is all natural, so it has no negative impacts to aquatic life as well. Cyanobacteria can be a difficult and scary thing to manage for a lot of people. This is something that we deal with every day. We look at samples under the microscope at no charge to our customers. This is something that can help you to understand a little bit more about your water and what next steps you need to take. So if you're concerned that you might have a cyanobacteria bloom in your water, send us a sample, reach out to us on our website at naturalwaterscapes.com and we can get you started on the right steps to manage your pond.